point. I'm on your left. Going in the building. Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one is filled with a lot of new stuff. First off, the gun I'm using is a pre-released AEG from Lancer Tactical, officially called the Multi-Mission Carbine or MMC. Big thanks to them for hooking me up with this gun and letting me test it my way. Another first is this field, Jericho Airsoft. And this was also a great opportunity to test my newest invention, the PEG style dual Mobius camera mount. A discreet way to mount the zoom and the selfie camera. One down, one down. One down, down. Same place. As you might have guessed from the full out of fire, this AG is the recoil variant. And this has some kick to the point where a few of the players on the field thought it was a gas blowback. The recoil is a nice touch. Being a fan of realism and airsoft, this certainly gets a point in that category. But being a competitive player, this also is a bit of a disadvantage. The heavy recoil comes at a cost, most notably the rate of fire, even on an 11.1 LiPo battery. Where's he at? Straight ahead? The shoulder punch that this gun nice, produces is also strong enough to take your eye off the traveling BB. Are those dead players? Making it difficult to track your BBs to the target. A quality well zeroed in optic is a must in my opinion when using recoiling guns. Try, there's no cover up ahead till this building. Perfect, he's out now. Yep. Yeah, we'll get him. I think we got that guy, he might have backed up. Let's roll. A little about the park, Jericho is a bit of a drive for me, about 60 miles, but it was well worth it. Here we are on a field called Recon Ruins, playing an objective based game called Screw. Yeah, if I could get there. Are you Cover me. Got one. Come to me. The point of this game is to find a bucket somewhere on the field and screw on as many of your nuts or remove the other teams. Of course, like most objective based games in airsoft, it quickly turns into a team deathmatch. Where's that coming from? Right there. I spot a player through a gap behind the debris. Luckily I control my urge to shoot and wait for a better opportunity. Eventually I get picked off, but it quickly becomes apparent that controlling the higher ground on this field is a huge advantage. Well, that's a friendly. So we head back towards the bamboo buildings. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Stay 
Still there, still there. Still there. On to the right. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. He's watching this corner. He's down there by the wall. I think it's his head. It took me a couple of rounds to realize that the PTS brand PMAX did not feed very well in this gun, especially on full auto. The EPMs however worked out fine. But the included flash mag style high cap worked best. Let's go train. Okay. Let's just go train, dude. This will lead us right through the bucket. Or is it on, oh, it's on the other side of the farm, right? So we can use this as code. I think it's on here. Somehow during the deathmatch, we remembered the objective and decided to make a push towards it as the game wind down. Where's, you see got eyes on the bucket? All right, we're coming to it. Cover, make clear. Stay up there, cover. All right, come on, get to the bucket, we'll cover you. Do it, do it. Two players behind me work on the bucket as I provide oversight and security. Do this thing, and then we can just bait him with the bucket. One straight ahead in the trench. Hit, hit, hit! I'm not able to punch through the thick vegetation and get shot, but we managed to pull out a win at the last second. Stay tuned for part 2 as we head back into that amazing city map and continue to explore the Lancer Tactical MMC. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.